happy people I'm back with another video and today I want to show you all how the Moran peel off base coat works underneath a regular gel polish set so I've done a review on my channel of this product before but here it is this is the gel peel off base coat here and like I said it's by the company Moran um, I previously tried this product out with um, jelly tips and it peeled off beautifully and so i did a quick gel mani um i just needed to throw something on my nails really quick and i want to show you all how it works with just a regular gel polish manicure i have on a few coats of gel polish so originally it was just a base no it wasn't even a base coat originally it was just a uh two colors of gel polish and then a top coat and then on this nail it was two colors of gel polish a transfer foil and then a top coat, but I ended up not liking the original color. So I don't know if you all can see kind of at the tip here, there's kind of like an orangish color. So I went over all the nails in black. And so they have maybe like four or five layers of dip powder. I mean, four or five layers of gel polish, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you all how they peel off. So these have been on my nails for three days, three days only. And so I noticed that I was trying to peel a sticker off of something and this one already started to lift off which I'm not upset about because I'm probably about ready to take these off anyway. So I just want to show you how they peel off underneath a regular gel polish manicure. And it's just really simple and easy to remove. You just go under the nail with the tool and it's just going to peel right off. Look at that. Like how quick and easy to have, um, you know, a gel polish manicure that's easy to take off. Like I'm loving that. So I'm going to go ahead here and just remove all the nails. What you see here on the surface is just the remainder of that, uh, what is it, the, the, the peel off base. It's not like my actual nail peeling or anything like that. Um, so that's that. Let's see how this one peels off. Yeah, that one's peeling off just as easily. Just going underneath the nail. And look at that, it peels right on up. That's awesome. I probably can just peel it off, huh? Okay, oops. Yeah, it's just peeling right out. That's pretty cool. All right, so that peeled off. So that peeled right on off as well. And then let's try the middle finger here. You just wanna break the seal here around the edge, like so. And it really just peels right off. I love this. This is just gonna make my life this just makes life so much easier when I want to just switch out my mani really quick. Like, you see how easy this is peeling off? Wow, it's peeling off just like glue. I'm not mad at it. I think I actually applied alcohol to my natural nail too before I did this set. And so with applying the alcohol, I thought it would last a little bit longer. Um, so my nail looks a little, well, I can't even say that. I think that's still the, yeah, that's still the glue there. Wow. So yeah, you just use it like this and scrape the glue off and then you all good to go. Look at your nail, like new. Yeah, I really, I'm really enjoying this peel off base coat. It's so easy to work with and so easy to use. It kind of peels off almost like a nail sticker, which is pretty darn awesome. Cause I, you all know I use a lot of nail stickers. Well, I don't know if you all know this or not, but on my Instagram, I post a lot of like nail wraps and things like that that I wear in between sets. I don't necessarily film those cause I don't think they'd be of interest to you all. Um, if you do want to see them, let me know. But yeah, I normally just feel like film my actual sets that I do. And so in between, I wear nail stickers and stuff and these feel just like nail stickers. See, look how it's peeling off. I love this peel off base coat. It's absolutely amazing. Look at that. Peels right off, no damage to the natural nail whatsoever. I'm gonna go in with some acetone and I'm just gonna wipe my nail down. Just gonna wipe this off really quick. And then I'm gonna go in with some cuticle oil here. And just like that, I'm ready for my next set. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and continue testing this product out. This is gonna be a continuous video. So the next clip you'll see me doing the peel off base coat using a different method. This is the base coat that I've been testing out for you guys over the last couple of months. And um, today, okay, today I have two different ways in which I applied these full cover tips. 
One was just using regular Extend Gel, and then the other was um, I applied them with Poly Gel. So the peel off base coat is underneath both of these, and I just want to show you all um, how they peel off. So I tried something a little bit different. Typically, you're not supposed to prep your nails at all when you use the peel off base coat, but for this one, actually both hands, I just prepped my hands with regular alcohol just to see if I can extend the peel off base coat a little bit longer and where my set's a little bit longer. So this set has been on, well, these two individual sets have actually been on for a total of five days. Um, and with that, I noticed that the lifting wasn't as bad. Yeah, the lifting wasn't as bad as it was when I did not use it. So they lasted well, none of them popped off. I think in the past, one of them popped off. This one isn't lifting at all, which is good. And the poly gel side too, there's slight lifting. This one I actually forgot to put um, peel off base coat on, so we'll see how we get this one off. But yeah, the other ones are starting to lift ever so slightly. But I feel like with the poly gel, they're on a little bit firmer than they are with the full cover tips and extend gel. So let me go ahead and hop right on into this. Um, just to help protect my natural nail a little bit more, I am just gonna be adding some cuticle oil to air all of my nails, just so that I don't, you know, damage my natural nail at all. Even though this peel off base coat is very, very gentle to all of my nails. Like, um, even when I didn't uh, do the cuticle oil, I didn't have any issues with, um, you know, damage to my natural nail or not. Um, this one I wanna, in particular, apply a lot of cuticle oil because like I said, I actually forgot to um, put the peel off base coat on the index finger on this, on this uh, particular hand, so. I'm gonna see how that works out, but I feel like the rest of them are gonna peel off pretty easy. Okay. And so, yeah, I just, like I said, I wanted to test the different ways of getting the, uh, the, the, the I just wanted to test the different ways of using the peel off base coat and see if it makes a difference, um, the different ways that you apply it. So you've already seen me do it with a basic gel manicure. That was easy to pop off. It really didn't last long at all, like two or three days. This I get five days out of full cover tips. And I think, like I said, with poly gel, I think I can get longer. With the regular full cover tips, I get five days. So I'll be curious to know what it's like underneath acrylic. So I'll be testing it out next. So yeah, let me go ahead and pop these off. I've done a video with me taking these off under full cover tips before. And it was really easy. Like so, you see how this peels off really easy. I'll peel off this finger here, like so. And I do have videos of these sets that I did. Um, one of these were, well this set right here that I'm taking off right now, this is my Black History Month nails. So I'm gonna leave that link down in the description. So if you all wanna check it out, you can. And then the other hand was me testing out a poly gel kit from Amazon that came with literally everything. It was like 20 bucks and it came with the lamp and everything, so. I'll leave that in the description as well. So if you all want to check that out, you can. This is my pinky here. I mean, it's really easy to get these off the nail. Like I really, really like using this base coat. Just makes life a lot easier. I don't have to soak anything off or anything like that. So that came off easily. <clears throat> and then the thumb, there's not a lot of lifting on the thumb here. So I think I'm gonna have to come underneath it and break the seal a little bit more. Like so. Now break the seal on the side here. Now break it on the other side. There we go. And you see how it's just kind of like rubber glue. And it just peels right off. Yeah, it's really just like glue. Love it. So that's that. That's the first set, and let me try this poly gel side here, and let's see how these come off. Yep, just as easy. I just slide my cuticle pusher all the way underneath, and then they pop right off, like so. Gonna kind of break the seal a little bit more here on the thumbnail. Okay, just on the other side. Like so. Okay. 
Okay. And then just go underneath with the cuticle pusher and loosen it on up. Perfect. Perfect. So that popped right off. So, like I said, you guys, I forgot to add cuticle oil underneath here. Let's see how this pulls up. I'm just going to try to loosen up the side walls here. Oh, sweet Jesus. Thank you, God. Okay, I'm so glad this popped off because I was so afraid of this nail not coming off. I was so afraid of this nail not popping off. Um, and so that's another tip too. I guess if you don't want to wear your poly gel nails for too long, you could just not prep your nail at all and just apply the poly gel straight to your natural nail and it should pop off pretty easily. Okay, so this is what both of the hands are looking like. Now I'll just go in with some acetone um, on a lint-free wipe and just rub that off. Or if you want, you can kind of just go through and peel this off of your nail. It literally just feels like glue. So um, yeah, I, I kind of do a combination of the two. So while I'm talking here, I guess I can go ahead and do that on this hand. But yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I Like I said, I am testing out the different ways to uh, use this peel off base coat. I wanna try to get longevity while also still making it easy for me to pop my nails off. Um, and like I said, I got videos on these two sets. If you wanna check them out, you can. There's no harm at all to my natural nails. My natural nails feel fine, they feel protected. Um, I'm just gonna go through and just rub all of this glue off here. All right, so even after I peeled that off, I already had my cuticle oil on there. Um, so once you get all the glue off, um, you're really literally all done. You're, and you're all done and ready, ready for your next set. I've actually taken off peel off base coat before and put on a new set right after I took it off because there's really no harm or damage to the natural nail. So this is what the nails are looking like after that peel off base coat. And so yeah, this is gonna be a big hodgepodge of different videos of me pretty much popping peelies, which is taking off my using a peel off base coat. So in the next clip you'll see me using another way of me taking it off. Do y'all ever wonder what happens to the press on nails after they get taken off? I don't just throw them away. I have my nail graveyard, you guys. <laughs> so this is where I keep all of my old press on nails. Practice nails, old press on nails, etc. So when I'm done, I just pop them. I do plan to get a display for this too so that I can put all of my old press on on display and what's nice is I can actually use them again if I wanted to as like an actual press on which is really dope so yeah that's just a little bonus clip for you guys and this is actually an old body scrub container so yeah I wanted to show you all how I pop off um, my nails after I've done a set so I did this set about let's see about four or five days ago and um, I'm ready to pop it off because I'm going to do a new set. And I just wanted to show you all how the pop-off uh, process was. So this is the set I did here. Okay, I do have a full tutorial for this look if you all wanna check it out. So I did go in with a dehydrator and of course I used my uh, Moran peel-off base coat. This is my favorite peel-off base coat right now. I wanna show you guys on all the nails. There is slight lifting on all the nails which is fine by me because I am actually ready to take them off. And um, I this is a poly gel nail set that I did. Um, so I do find that with this particular uh, peel off base coat, whenever I apply poly gel nails, they tend to hold on the longest. Um, whenever I do full cover tips, regular gel mani, they tend to only last like maybe a day or two, but with poly gel, I always find that they, they last. So this set right here, the only nail that actually came off was this pinky nail, and I just went ahead and super glued it back on um, over top of that peel off base coat. And then the rest of them, they have not fallen off at all whatsoever. So I'm pretty impressed about that. But there's a lot of lifting and the nail is like really loose. If you all see, I can like twist it to the side and stuff here. So I'm just ready to kind of take it off. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna show y'all what this process looks like here. So I'm just gonna go in with my cuticle pusher here and go right underneath the nail, okay? And then we're just gonna pop it on off, like so. Look at that, it just came right on off. Just popped right on off. And that is why I love this peel off base coat. It is just so good. So let's do the next one here, okay? So again, I'm just gonna slide it underneath the cuticle and just push down until the seal is broken and then it pops right off. So that's the second nail here. And another thing I really enjoy about this method too is that um, I get to keep all of my sets that I've worn or did. 
and you know get the put them on display if I want to or even maybe recreate them and actually if I wanted to I can kind of use these as press-ons later so yeah just going in underneath y'all these nails just flying off today normally they, they don't fly off like that but I have this one here now and I'm gonna go ahead and do my thumbnail actually because like I said uh, this nail right here I super glued on I think it's loose enough to come off too, but I know my thumb's gonna be a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna go underneath here and just pop it off like so. And I'll show you guys what it looks like as it's coming off the nail. Just like rubber glue is what it feels like. So yeah, that's that. Yeah, that stuff holds pretty good. And then let's see if I can get this pinky nail off. Like I said, I did super glue it back on. I think I should still be able to get it off though. Yeah, okay, it's coming off now. Boom, just like that. Perfect, okay. Yeah, y'all, so this set popped off, okay? I do highly recommend this method. What I normally do is I'll just go in and roll the rest of the um, peel off base. I'll go ahead and roll the rest of it off my nail. All right, so then I'll normally just go in with a little bit of acetone and a lint-free wipe and go over the entire nail bed like so. Alright y'all, so this is what the nails are looking like. I just went ahead and rubbed some alcohol and some cuticle oil on them. And they looking pretty good and healthy. So yeah, um, I again, I'm loving the peel off base coat. I am going to try it underneath one other method. So I want to do an acrylic set on my hands. I'm actually getting ready to do that next. And once I do this acrylic set, then I'll let you guys know how the peel off base works underneath that. I have a feeling that it's going to last a little bit longer. I am going to do a little bit of prep work too before I do the acrylic set, but I am still going to use my peel off base coat and I want to see how long that set will last. My goal is to try to get this peel off base coat to last one week, so like seven days. So far, the most I can get it to last is anywhere between three to five days, which is a little bit earlier than when I want to take my sets off. So hopefully this acrylic method works out well, and I'm going to keep on testing different um, ways of maybe prepping my nail to kind of help um, give the peel off base coat a little bit more longevity. But yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next clip. I'm back with another update and I am actually getting ready to take off my first ever acrylic set that I did. It has been exactly one week and the nails overall they held up pretty good. I just finished doing dishes and because my hands were in warm water uh, my index finger just popped off so I figured this would be a great time to go ahead and remove this set and move on to the next one. Um, so that method for all of these items is what I use to prep underneath this particular set and then on top of that I just went on with my acrylic application and I was able to get exactly you know six and a half seven days of work out of it so not mad at it at all and honestly if I wanted to I could probably have this set last a little bit longer um, as you can see on this hand here minimal lifting there's really big lifting on this so that's gonna pop off any day now minimal lifting here and this one um, it had really bad lifting kind of like the index finger and it actually popped off already I just went ahead and reapplied it with some super glue just to you know have a little bit more longevity I'm gonna go ahead and pop the rest of these off okay Y'all know I just kind of go underneath the nail since my hands were just, my hands literally just came out of hot water. So these are going to come off really easily. Just pull right underneath here and then the nail pops right off. As you guys can see, super easy removal. Okay. Just like that. And then this one I know going to come off with like no problem. Actually, I probably don't even need to go under it. Y'all can see. 
that shit's color right off there. So that came off. Okay. And then this one here. Just gonna go underneath it. Okay. Like so. And it pops right on off here. Okay. <laughs> and then this one, I don't think this one's gonna be as easy to remove because like I said, I did go back in with that super glue. The only reason this one is hard to get off is because I added super glue. So that normally gets me like a few more days of wear, but I literally just applied this again. Yeah, there we go. Just like that, lift it right off there. The only thing that's left, there's like this rip, this like residue. It's kind of like just rubbery. And I normally just kind of go through and just um, roll it off the, the, the fingernail. And typically when I do that, my nails are all good to go after that so yeah y'all. i still really really love this uh maran pull-off base coat it's probably still my favorite pull-off base coat i've tried today really liking this a lot and my nails they they feel really nice and healthy so i'm honestly ready to go in with another set that's what my nails look like and so yeah i do still really enjoy this base coat it's really good um, I think I'm going to come back and show you all how I remove this set when I'm ready to take it off. Um, this is actually a Pac-Man set that I did. I do have um, a full tutorial for this look um, down in the comments. I'll leave it in the description box and or in the comments. But I'm going to take this um, off as well. That'll probably be the next video in my series. And this one's pretty interesting because um, I didn't etch the inside of the tips with this. And I want to show you all the cool thing that can happen when I pop these off. I'll see y'all in my next clip. I am back with another installment of showing you all how my Maran Peel Off Base Coat works underneath different mediums. So this is just a basic full cover tip um, like a press dupe method that I did and this time around I only did um, uh, my pill off base coat and then I did um, applying my nail tips with uh, just regular gel top coat these are the two items that I used to apply this so I did my Maran pill off base coat and then I also did this uh, double dip Bella Vina top coat and I've really been liking this method for removing my tips because I'm going to show you all why I just soaked my hands in some hot water so I'm going to go ahead and start this pop-off process um, but again I just um, let's see okay so again I just kind of anchor this right underneath here kind of break the seal a little bit and then you see the nail pops right off okay so the one thing I like about this and I think this is the reason why people say it's important to etch the inside of the tip is because you can see this came off clean right you see how it's nice and shiny on the inside of the nail that's because I had applied the top coat that's because I used top coat to apply the nails and so it leaves this nice smooth surface here and so then when I want to go ahead and remove the rest of it here I'll just take it off like this and again kind of going back to why i really like this method i like this method because technically i've just created my own press on nail on myself so instead of doing press ons on like a stand or something like that i'm literally custom creating my press on nails on my hand which is kind of cool and so because like i said it has this nice smooth surface on the inside now i'm able to go through and if i want to apply these nails once again as an actual press on set which I think is really cool and so sometimes you all might see in my videos you might see me wearing older sets um you know something may, maybe I did a few months ago that's because sometimes I literally wear my own nails that I've done in videos as press on nails and so um, that's just an FYI but yeah I thought I think this method is really cool um so yeah um, I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna go ahead and continue popping off the rest of these nails. Um, I really like this method a lot. Um, there we go. So just pop that right on off. And if you guys notice, look at that. <laughs> I just think it's interesting how this is like, a, it kind of just feels rubbery. So you see how it just, yeah. But again, in the, on the inside of the nail here, if it doesn't peel off, you know, you can just kind of go in and kind of work on it a little bit and it's going to separate from the inside of the nail and again it's going to create kind of that press on um, surface for you on the inside of this nail sorry I just put on some lotion but you see how this peels right off of the inside here right so that peels right off and then now I literally have my own press on nail again I can reapply this with some super glue 
or with whatever medium I, I see fit and then wear it again as a press on nail. So again, if you all see me wearing some of my older sets and videos, it's because you know, I'm wearing my own nails as press ons. So yeah, I'm gonna go through and finish removing all of these. I will be right back. Yeah, this stuff peels off really easy. You see? Y'all see what's happening there on the inside? It peels right off. That is easy peasy. So all the nails have been removed and literally, like I show in every video, all I do is go through and scrape that the rest of the peel off base coat off of the surface of my nails. And then literally my nails are ready for the next set. They're all good to go. So I really, really love this peel off base coat though. Um, especially if you all are just wanting to wear a set for like a few days, like three to five days, you know? So yep, it just peels right on off. All I need to do is go in and add some cuticle oil and then my nails will be all ready to go for my next set. Okay, happy people. So I am back with my final installment of my testing out this Laron peel off base coat underneath different methods. And the final method that I tried here was um, prepping my actual nails. So I went in with this dehydrator here. This dehydrator is from uh, Gelin, but any dehydrator would work. I first um, dehydrated my nails with regular alcohol. Then I went in with this, and then I actually went in with my Young Nails Protein Bond, so a primer. And then after that, I actually applied my Maran Peel Off Base Coat. And then I went in with my regular Extendio application. On this particular set, I used the Born Pretty nail glue but you know it's any extend gel really um and i apply full cover tips and so i am happy to announce that this set lasted a full week so it's actually six days post this set right and i have to take it off a day earlier than i want to because i need to film some tutorials and yesterday i know you all can see that the one nail is missing here but yesterday um it, it started lifting just a little bit and i got impatient and I actually pulled it off and pulling it off was actually kind of difficult to do so um, I think that using that primer did work I am going to go ahead and remove the rest of the nails here on camera with you guys um, I have my cuticle pusher here and uh, let me show you how much lifting is, is taking place so again these have been on for a total of six days and let's show you the lifting here this is the lifting that I'm having Okay, it's very minimal. Well, this one is a little more, but it's very minimal compared to the type of lifting I would have after only three days using my peel off base coat with no prep at all. And so I think I finally found the method that I like, which is actually prepping my nails the way I would if I was going to apply, you know, I set to last two, three weeks. Do that and just um, make sure I apply my, um, my peel off base coat. And I do find that, um, it just adheres to the nail way, way better. You know, it's, it's actually a little more difficult for me to take off, which I like. So that means that this set would have actually lasted the full week. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that this would have lasted until tomorrow. Um, but again, I just need to take it off early. And even just trying to like roll this glue off, which I feel like when I don't prep my nails at all, it rolls off a lot easier. So that lets me know that it's still a, a, a nice sticky layer for the nail to have um, adhered and stayed on a little bit longer. So yeah, y'all, I think I finally found my next method, but y'all see how easy it is to, to pop these off. Like it takes nothing at all. You just gotta make sure you break the seal like so, and then it just pops right on off. So yeah, y'all, I'm liking, I'm liking the full prep situation. It gives me the longevity that I'm looking for. And see this nail here, you see it's a lot of lifting. All I do is break the seal, boom, and then it'll pop right on off. You see that? And no damage to my natural nails. Um, so yeah, this stuff just really rolls right off. Or if you want, you could take some acetone 
and um, clean the nail. The peel off base coat is a lot harder to get off with that primer, which like I said, it's a plus for me because then that means the nails would actually last as long as I am wanting them to last. Um, when I do my sets, I really want my nails to last about a week, a full seven days. Um, and this, I think, is the method to do it. So I'm not mad at it, y'all. This is what the nails are looking like. Um, there is a little bit of tackiness still to the top of the nail, but I'll just go in with some more acetone and cuticle oil. This is the set that I just popped off. I'm really happy that I discovered and tested out this peel-off base coat underneath different mediums. If you all have been watching the video, you've seen that I've done it underneath poly gel, full cover tips with minimal prep, acrylic application, etc. So the best way that I found to get some longevity, if you guys are wanting that is to do the um, the dehydrate prime and then peel off base coat if you all are wanting it to just pop off fairly quickly um, maybe get one to three days of wear sometimes even up to five days don't prep your nail at all and just go straight in with the peel off base coat and then you'll get it to pop off really easy especially if you soak it in hot water first I noticed that when you soak it the hands in hot water then the, the, the peel off base coat tends to get um, softer and then they're easy to pop off. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little test that I did. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this little test that I did, testing off these, this Maran peel off base coat underneath different mediums. This is still by far my favorite peel off base coat. I can't say that I've tried too many. The only other one that I've really tried is the NYC. I just got my hands on the peel off base coat, so I'll be putting that to the test here soon. But this right here, for the longevity that I'm looking for and the ease of removal, it really suits my needs perfectly. So I actually thought that I was done with filming all of my peel off method applications and um, testing it out in so many different ways. So I recently discovered this Born Pretty 6-in-1 nail glue, right? And I applied it using my Maran Peel Off Base Coat underneath it. And I'm really impressed at how these two products have worked together, okay? So typically any product that I put over the Maran Peel Off Base Coat, it only lasts three to five days. Um, my nails are super loose. My nails are typically really loose after the third, fourth day. Most, the few have fallen off. But with putting putting the six in one nail glue on top of it, my nails, so this set right here, right? It's been on for seven days, y'all. Seven full days. There is some lifting, right? Well, this nail, there's very minimal lifting. I'll say that, let me show. This nail, there's very minimal lifting. But this nail, there's lifting, this nail, there's lifting, and this nail, there's lifting, right? But the lifting isn't so bad to where I feel like they're going to fall off tomorrow. Typically, how they're loose right now is how the nail will be after about three days. So I'm thinking this is probably going to be the new way that I apply my nails um, if I want to have an easy pop-off method but still have longevity in my sets. Um, I feel like I could get a good full week, possibly even a week and a half out of this set especially if I prepped my nails, like if I use dehydrator, use my primer, um, and then went in with the peel off base coat and this, I think I could even, I think I can get a full solid week to a week and a half with minimal lifting because in my last clip you all saw that I used my dehydrator, I used my primer, and then I used my peel off base coat and I applied a nail glue and that lasted me about, I think a good five or seven days. It was either five or seven days, I can't remember. But this right here, I think if I actually prep my nails, it would last just as long. So now I want to see, oops, now I want to see how easy it is to pop this off. I know this nail is going to come off really easy, but I'm just impressed because these nails feel like they're very sturdy, you know? Okay, so it's still wanting to pop off here, which is good. So let's see. I broke the seal. Just trying to be gentle, like so. Okay, and it popped off. That's good. Let's see how this one does. This one's really loose, so I know that's going to pop off easy. That's good. Okay, let's see my pinky. This one feels real sturdy, but you know, once you break the seal on most of these, it pops right off. So look at that. I had these on for a full week, you guys, and you see how easy it is for it to pop off? You really just got to break the seal on the side, like so. And once the seal is broken, they pop right on off. But they felt very, very secure, which I really really liked so yeah y'all i think it like i said if i need to wear my nails for a week or a week and a half i'm definitely going to be using the method of my my maran peel off base coat with the six in one nail glue and i'm going to do a proper prep so i'll clean cuticles push back cuticles buff shape 
file the nail, all that good stuff. So I think this is the official end of my Marine Peel Off Base Coat review. I know it's a very long video, but I want it to be nice and thorough so that those who are looking at getting this product can know what they're what they're actually getting. I highly recommend it. Still really love this product a lot. It's my saving grace for being able to do a lot of different sets in a short amount of time. I hope y'all enjoyed this review. Um, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular on my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye